Hi, it's Bill, the Knee Pain Guru. Today, we're going to talk about how to eliminate knee stiffness. Got a question in on my blog a couple of days ago. It was from uh, a Khalid, and they had said, I'm currently 23 years old. Had a partial meniscectomy, which means they took part of the, the meniscus out. Surgery done uh, two years ago had a bucket handle tear of the medial meniscus while playing badminton. Sometimes the knee feels absolutely normal, but usually there's a lot of stiffness in the knee. How can I get rid of the stiffness as it's frustrating me? And this is a common, common issue. Hello, Don. Hello, Kelly. Welcome. If you have questions about knee pain, about joints, um, the body, ask away. Uh, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Share it with your friends, especially the ones that limp. <laughs> That'll be good. Uh, let's see. Okay. Khalid had a partial meniscectomy. Stiffness in the knee. So what causes stiffness? We need to zoom out and look at a bigger perspective of what's actually happening in the knee that's causing the problem of the joint to be stiff. Now you can have this... In the knee joint, you could have it in your hips and lower back. You could have it in your neck or shoulders, elbows. The concept of stiffness happens as a result of tension and stress that builds up in the body. Just think about it from a logical perspective. You don't need letters after your name. You don't need an extensive background in anatomy and physiology or anything else. If you just think about the fact that if there's tension in a joint, it's causing the joint to be more restricted and not able to move as easily. Baseline. That's what causes the stiffness. Tension and stress in the joint. And it could show up, that tension and stress can show up a lot of different ways. It shows up differently for different people. In Khalid, it could show up as joint stiffness. Someone else, it could show up as joint pain. Uh, someone else it could be burning, could be shooting, um, coffee every morning, okay, da, 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 da. there you go, Don, nice work, love it, I'll, I'll like your comment there, how about that? The point of what I'm saying is that baseline, any sort of stiffness of movement in a joint happens as a result of stress and tension, and this sets up a cascade of effects in the body that make the joint begin to dehydrate, the joint to irritate more, the joint to squeeze tighter because of the irritation, the joint gets further irritated, gets inflamed, uh, and it just sets up the conditions for this to progress over your lifetime. It could be even diagnosed as arthritis, stiffness in a joint, stiff and achy joints are many times diagnosed as arthritis. So the key here is understanding if there's stress and tension in the joint, what needs to happen is we need to relax the joint. We relax the joint, the stiffness goes away. The stress and tension goes away as a result of relaxing the joint. Well, how do we create, how do we create relaxation in the joint? Well, through comfort. If comfort relaxes the joint, there's relief in the joint, the joint lets go, there's more space. Now the water that you're drinking is actually able to get into the joint, lubricate the joint, and then all of that begins to set up the conditions in the body so the body can heal itself. Get rid of my tension when I left my ex-wife. Well, there's that. And Don, you actually bring up a really good point. A lot of the stress and tension happens in other areas of our life. It could be in relationships. It could be with finances. It could be uh, with children or friends or where you're living or there's stress and tension that builds up in the body. And in the case of knee pain, um, in the case of knee pain, the knee is just the weakest link in the series of tension from the head to the feet. And the more we can relax the tension in the body and teach the body how to let go of 
reduce inflammation from dietary sensitivity. Absolutely. You can reduce from dietary sensitivity, but there's people that don't have inflammation. I had someone that, that began working with a program of mine that did keto for, I think it was 60 days, and he still had pain. So it's not only diet. It, there's a comprehensive approach of relaxing these tension patterns that build up in the nervous system as a res result of the body to protecting itself. And it, it's, it's a part of the equation that just regular stretching, exercise, diet, hydration, it's components of it, but it doesn't address the signaling that's happening in the body as a result of the body not feeling safe. So we start getting the joint that's screaming the loudest, the knee in this case for Khalid, we address the comfort in the knee first, and then the body begins to relax, let down and let go, creates more space and the stiffness goes away. It's actually quite simple and straightforward. Uh, and we begin, then we can begin to stretch and do those other things in that absence of the stiffness, the pain, the discomfort that was happening in the joint. That is what I got for today. Um, if you have questions, please type them below. I will get notified of that. I will answer those questions on future videos. I do these about once a day. If this information is resonates with you, give it a thumbs up. Like and subscribe to my channel. Head over to thekneepainguru.com. I have a seven-day knee pain reduction challenge that you could begin working with your knee joint there and getting some relief and begin to understand when I'm talking about comfort, how to create comfort in the knee. You can go over there and start with that. Um, this is on YouTube, Facebook, my website. Connect with me. Uh, Matt, welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, I'm going to be wrapping it up, though, unless there is any questions that come in within the next five seconds. I'm going to wrap up the video, um, and I will do another one. If there's any topic that you're interested in hearing about, uh, please type that in below. I'll get notification. We'll talk about it. This is Bill Paravano, the Knee Pain Guru, going to sign off for today. Have a great day. Have a good one. Talk to you soon.